Brand history plays a very important role for Porsche, as it is the foundation on which the brand Porsche stands today. We can see a lot of icons of the automobile world from the 1950s and 60s, for instance, which give us a wealth of inspiration and passion today. Two good examples are, of course, the Porsche 718 RSK and the RS60, cars which dominated motorsports at the time, which won over a thousand races and made the legend of Porsche great. Of course, these cars are a great source of inspiration for us today. One thing that is typical of Porsche is that every project used to be given a model number. That started with a model number 7 in 1931 and went on from there. The model 356 was made in 1948, and we got to 550 sometime in the 1950s. That was the legendary Spider, which was presented in 1953, and its successor followed in 1957, the 718. So that was actually nothing more than the chronological project number, which it was assigned by the Porsche engineering office. There was no name godfather like Manfred Godhardt who thought something up. These model numbers were simply assigned in chronological order, absolutely pragmatically, and nobody back then could have anticipated that these numbers, like the 550, 718, or later the 911, would one day become the stuff of legend. Characteristic of the 718 is this unique combination of lightweight design, a mid-engine layout, aerodynamics and small, efficient and extremely high performance four-cylinder engines with four camshafts and extremely high revving. Some of them delivered performance of over 150 horsepower from just 1.5 liters of displacement, resulting in an ideal power-to-weight ratio. Even though the cars actually competed in the smaller displacement classes, they not only took the class victory but even took the overall victory. That is what made Porsche great. As a big fish in a small pond, we simply showed the big cars what this little car manufacturer from Stuttgart Zuffenhausen was capable of. That is simply something that has been inherent to the corporate culture at Porsche from the very beginning. The company was founded as an engineering office. Ferdinand Porsche was a person who strived to find the perfect technical solution. He didn't want to implement the most that can technically be achieved, but was always seeking the most intelligent solution. There are lots and lots of examples. With his sports cars, Porsche managed to transfer all of this into serial production. Ferry Porsche continued this tradition, and with the 718, they made a car in the 50s that really summed that up. That was a unique combination of lightweight construction, reliability, design, and efficiency first and foremost. On the racetrack, it demonstrated very impressively just how efficient the car was. These little spiders won over 1,000 races in the 50s and 60s. I think that it's great that this historical designation 718 has been rediscovered now. The 550 Spider is probably the most famous car made by Porsche in the 1950s. Its successor, the 718, got a bit forgotten, even though it was also a very successful car. It won in Le Mans, Targa Florio, the 12 Hours of Sebring, to name but a few great victories. This car gave us a great deal of inspiration because it was the 718 RS60 in particular, which was built to meet regulations that called for a car that was pretty close to the production model. That's what sets Porsche apart, this close connection between racing and production models. The four-cylinder boxer engine is something that is just a part of Porsche. It all began in 1948. In 1953 came this legendary four camshaft engine with four cylinders. Now we are continuing this tradition. I believe that this efficiency, the compactness of these cars and their performance, combined with everyday practicality, was typical of Porsche in the past and remains so in the present too.